Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today um, I'm going to do your monthly readings and this will be for April. Um, but I want to give you a little insight of what's going to be going on uh, for the month for you um, astrological wise. This is um, called the new astrological year. Okay. Um, this is when Aries is going to be coming um, the new moon. It will be in Aries. So it's kind of like a new beginning, like a new, uh, you're going to be able to uh, start things fresh. Um, there, on the first half of April, <clears throat> Mars is going to be coming into Neptune. There's going to be a conflict there, a clash um, on the 9th. So you're going to feel a little on the angry side, maybe a little bit confused um, during that period. Then on the uh, 12th, there's the Venus Pluto clash, which is going to deal with money and love. So you're going to have a little bit of struggles between, in, you know, along with money and love. Um, and then the full moon is going to be on the 26th of April. And this is um, the super full moon. So this is a time for a fresh start. So this month is basically about a fresh start. Um, so I wanted to give you a little insight of what astrologically um, this will be all about. And we will get on with your readings. All right, Leos, let's get on with your reading and see what is going on for you for April of 2021, please. Let's give you five shuffles. One. Two. Four and five. All right, angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Leo needs to know for April of 2021, please? One more card. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. First cards are your inner cards. These are the cards that are closest to you. These are the cards that are coming in quick. Um, this is the Seven of Diamonds. This is a great card to get. This is the Flames. This is uh, indicates good fortune, and it's going to neutralize the evil um, that is near. Um, so anything that is, uh, near you, that is, uh, you know, it, anything evil, it is going to neutralize that. So nothing evil will come into you. This can also be talking about a fire sign. So it can be talking about an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, uh, coming in too. The Jack of Spades is the shepherd. This indicates, um, intense love of life. You love life. You have an intense uh, love of other people and uh, loving, you know, your life. <clears throat> Seven of hearts. This is the store. This is a change in your residence um, for the best. Um, either you will be moving, somebody will be moving into you. Um, maybe uh, somebody may be moving out. Um, you may be moving. Um, or it could be um, something happening to your home, like home renovations or something new to your home. 
The next card I have is the Queen of Spades. This is the Armour or the Cupid. Somebody looks at you with great love um, and longing. They love you um, and they love to be with you. I have the five of clubs. This is the clover. This is good tidings are coming your way. Um, so that is wonderful. Happiness is going to come. The eight of diamonds. This is the broken glass. And this foretells um, you um, not to gamble, not to spend your money at um, the casinos or gambling or lottery or putting your names in drawings um, because you won't be able to you won't be as lucky as you once were in that area. I have the six of diamonds. This is the lion. And this is, you're going to get a shock from some bad news. <clears throat> so it may be something breaks down and you don't have the uh, income to fix it. Or you're just like, damn, why did it have to break down now? That kind of thing. The jack of diamonds. This is the rider. And this is good news is coming your way and it will be coming quickly. So that is a great. So your outer influence cards are what I'm going to read next. And these are the cards that are out there waiting to come into you. So I have the 10 of diamonds. This is the scythe. And this is um, some kind of disappointment. Um, and it could be um, an early death. Somebody that you know may have passed from an early death and it bothers you. Um, it, it, you feel still feel like it was your fault in some way. Um, you can't feel as if it was your fault because it wasn't your fault. Um, so try to um, get over that. Try to go, you know, be on that. Um, but it might be somebody that may pass away of an early death. Three of clubs is the tree. Um, this is the tree of life. This is um, great health. Good health is coming your way and you will be fulfilled to your highest hopes. Two of spades is the star card. This is a success card. Um, success in all of your enterprises. So that is awesome. The jack of hearts. This is the book. And this is a discovery that you will find out about a person for the better. Um, that is like a mystery type thing that uh, nobody really knows and you find out about. Um, so it is for the better that you find this out about this person. It can also mean genealogy um, along the aspects. So um, look into some genealogy. The next one I have is the Queen of Diamonds, and this is children. If you have children, keep those children close to you. Um, if, you know, be friendly towards them and have that gentleness, gentle side of yourself towards children. Um, if you are look, planning to have children, this is a good omen for, uh, you know, children, having children. Um, so that's great. Ten of Hearts is the bouquet of flowers. And this indicates a long and happy life with children. Um, and uh, extraordinary honors and fame are in your future. The Eight of Hearts is the cat. There's some flattery uh, going on. Um, you know, there's flattery and mystery around. Um, so that denotes uh, that mystery, that foretells that mystery of a person. The king of clubs is the last card I have for you. And that is the bear. That is success. It is a motherly success, a loving success, a caring success um, that is coming to you. So that is your main reading, my dears. Let's um, talk to the universe and see what it is that the universe would like to add to that uh, reading or clarify that reading for us. Let's give these four shuffles. One more. Okay. So we have fire, we have ceremony, and we have clouds. Okay. So with the fire, you already had fire sign before. So this is passion. Okay. Um, this is going to, this is talking about an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, you have two, uh, you know, bringing those signs into you. So those signs are, um, going to play a role for you here in April. Um, so pay attention to that. There is a ceremony that may come up. 
Um, it may be a wedding ceremony, some kind of invocation of, of something um, that may be coming up for you. They want you to uh, shape shift. They want you to start to shape the way that you want things to go for you. Do some meditation. Um, you know, look at things in a different perspective than you usually do. Um, so that you can get those things that you want in in life. So there's your shape-shifting card. So awesome. All right, let's do a card from Spirit now. Spirit, please give me a card that Leo needs to hear for April of 2021, please. A card that... Leo needs to hear. Dear you, there is a balance between activity and rest, ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you are faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is surrender and non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life. Go with the flow. And in no time, you'll reach what you have your heart and hopes set on. Remember, spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents. When it's time for a greater effort, you'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow cycles of life, but as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust the currents, for we're right there with you, our little umbrella drinks smiling at your success. Love you so very much. So life is a balance. Um, there has to be a balance between activity and rest, right? We have to sleep. Um, we have to have some activity. We have to do things. Um, you know, you can't have one without the other. Um, you know, you may be going through some obstacles and, uh, you know, it's best right now to surrender to those obstacles. You know, don't resist. Um, soon enough, you'll see how easy this flow is going to come. You know, um, that river, right? That river of life. It just goes. It flows. You know, there's no time. Um, in no time, you're going to reach those hopes and everything that you've wanted. And, you know, you got to direct those currents to where you want them to go, right? So I hope that helps you guys. Let's pull a one more card for you guys. And this will be your reflection card. Um, a card for you guys to reflect on. My life works beautifully. My life works beautifully. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. So that is your reflection card. So, you know, think of it. Your life is working the way, um, you know, if you don't want it to, then put your intentions out there for them to hear. So everything in your life works now and forevermore. My life works beautifully. So I hope this helps you guys. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing April. And until next time, bye guys.